Last time I made a video with Alex Honnold, this happened. Oh yeah. I think that was maybe the hardest part. Oh, high up. It was one of the most intense and extreme experiences of my life. Climbing without ropes alongside Alex, the undisputed master of this craft, pushed me to my limit. But now we're taking it up a notch. I went to visit Alex, who had planned a two-day of what he assured me was chill climbing, which obviously turned out not to be the case. This is the sketchiest thing I've ever done, maybe. You said uh, you think that it's gonna be way more mellow than last time? It should be a lot more mellow than last time. It should I be. I don't, I don't know if I trust you, man, but... Uh... No, that's, that's all right, we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. It should be an adventure, but nothing crazy. The thing is, you said that, oh, it's gonna be so much more mellow, it's very easy and all that stuff. And then I realized you also said that you haven't done it before. Yeah, that's so, actually, I, that is the one spot where we could run into trouble. Okay. But you're still one of the world's best climbers, right? Uh, not anymore. So we should be I ready for anything. I, I was not, not last time and not now. Oh God, jeez, oh, watch out. Oh God. Horrors. Yeah, I don't know about that, Alex. What did you think when you when you watched the last video of us together? What do, what do you think? Oh, I thought I thought it was great. I thought you did. I thought you did great. I was like, man, I'm a good cinematographer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I look back at it now, I was like, you could have easily made a mistake, you know, because I think that's when accidents happen. When you you're just so chill, you're not as concentrated as you normally are. For oh, you, no, it was I'm just so easy. No, no, but it's still, anytime you're calling a rope less, you're paying attention. I mean, also, just to be clear with the last video, I mean, I was sure that route was gonna be perfect for us, mm. and then there was just no chalk on it, and no one had been there, and I was a little surprised. There's a little bit more of a move where I just was, but you just never know what the day's gonna give you. What do you think today is gonna give us? I have no idea, because I've never done this. It might be more epic than last time too, because this is gonna take us longer, right? Yeah, this, well, actually, you know, it's hard to say. I think that we will hopefully be down by sunset. You're sure you, we, you know where we are, right? All right, so this is Mount Wilson, which is, I think, the proudest peak in Red Rock. Yeah. But, you know, open to debate. You see the tower thing on the right? That's yeah. the actual summit of Mount Wilson. That's the highest point. We'll cross that, we'll summit the south summit, and then we'll come down. The left huh. side. I mean, as far as just like adventures close to town, considering yeah. we could be gambling on the strip in 30 minutes from here if we wanted, that's this good. is cool. This is very you know, cool. That's, I that's... agree. And you don't think that is going to be epic at all? I mean, you oh, said I that no last idea. time. I have no idea. If you didn't think you were going to die at some point today, then I feel like I haven't done my job. Okay, so that is your goal. <laughs> okay. No, no, I, th I think it should just be scenic. Yeah. We also have a cameraman with us, Sam. Uh, we'll see how long he follows us. But people always say that the cameraman never dies, so we'll see what <laughs> yeah. happens. Well, you're the ca backup cameraman. Yeah, exactly. I'm I guess. the backup camera guy. <laughs> if the footage all gets way shakier, it means that the <laughs> camera guy died and I took over. What's the wildlife like here? Are there any dangerous animals? There are plenty of things that are technically dangerous. Like what? Like rattlesnakes and spiders and scorpions and. Mountain lions? Mountain lions. Have but, you ever seen a mountain lion? Yeah, I have seen a mountain lion. Uh, though actually I saw it up higher on the limestone mountains, kind of above this stuff. Yeah. Though I'm sure they do come down here. But for sure the biggest danger of the day is loose rock. Or actually the really biggest danger is probably heat stroke. <laughs> Have you had any like close calls of like really easy stuff? Yeah, actually on this mountain. The oh, way yeah. that the way that we're gonna come down today. Yeah. Uh, I once scrambling up it and it's not even like climbing. Uh -huh. It's like third class, like just scrambling with your hands a tiny bit. And I totally unexpectedly broke something and then sort of pinwheeled backward like down a, down a slab. Basically like tumbled over. But I came to a stop and I was like a little bit banged up and kind of like, <laughs> I kind of sprained both my wrists from like landing oh, wow. on things. Basically I've had a lot of adventures on this mountain. So we've been hiking for Four and a half kilometers. Alex is like a mountain goat. It's, uh, I'm getting out of breath though, and it's really, really hot. We haven't even started climbing yet. And I'm a little bit worried that uh, it's not gonna be as easy as he says it's gonna be. Might be a bit more epic. That's pretty you sure this is the right way, Alex? Uh, well, I'm sure that we're going to get to where we're going. 
But no, this is obviously not the ideal way to go. Oh, there's water. Oh, nice. Look at this. If, oh, you, need, if, you, need to, if you need to drink anything, you should be fine. You think uh, you would survive drinking that water? You'd survive. I've actually gotten sick from drinking the water here, though. Because huh. I've had a few adventures where I uh, just ran out. And then I pooped my pants for a month. Where, where does the route go, Alex? Okay, so I've never been here before, yeah. but I'm pretty sure we go up these slabs a bit. I think we cross over this big rib feature, and then I think we're looking at the true summit of Mount Wilson up there. Okay, I well, feel very confident that I'm gonna make it. I feel confident that I'm gonna make it too. Yeah, so far. Should, should we look at Sam? Do we think Sam's gonna make it? No, I'm confident. Yeah. I'm gonna make it. Is Magnus surviving? Bushwhacking? There's Sam, sort of surviving. Here we are in the canyon. We just made it back onto a real trail. Hopefully, morale will improve. My shoe is coming. Oh, 510 quality. Yeah, leave, leave, leave that shit on. You need it for the way down. I think the thing is, with all this crazy scrambling in the mountains, is that everyone's like, oh, free soloing is so extreme. But there's this whole spectrum between this right. and extreme rock climbing free soloing. Yeah. And you're kind of like, well, this is still scrambling in the mountains. And even hikes like this are often more dangerous, I think, than some free solos. Mm. Because you're just like kind of lost and they're bushes and you pull yeah. some rock and on yourself rocks. and you fall backward down a gully with a big rock on top of yourself. Yeah. You know, it's just like, it's just less certain. All right. Oh no, not the sun again. I know. <sighs> It's upside down. Let's see. Oh yeah, Magnus is now rock climbing, sort of. I mean, you could do it no hands, but. All right, so this is like some actual climbing, I guess. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you're like, oh, we're hiking, we're walking, this is really easy. Yeah. Except that if we were to fall, we would die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, and that's the end of Magnus. Are we free soloing or are we hiking? It's like a br blurry line, I guess. Yeah, and that's like something that I feel like gym climbers and like casual viewers have a really hard time differentiating. We're like, yeah. well, did you go free soloing? And you're like, well, I did all this to get to the mountain. Yeah. Like, this is the dangerous part. Right. The most dangerous part is gonna be getting around the cameraman without knocking everybody off the mountain. No, you're good. <laughs> Sam must have like sat down and died. Sam? Yo, Sam! Oh, wait, it's way back there. Oh, you can see him? Yeah. He'll figure it out. Let's go to the top, top. We did it. Oh, nice. So we're on top of Red Rocks right now. Yeah. And then Vegas behind you. God, it looks so much smaller from yeah, the Yeah, uh, exactly, road. exactly. When you start the journey, you're like, oh, it's chill, that little mountain. And now it's been uh, three hours and 40 minutes to get to the top yeah. and we have a long ways down. Oh, man. Are you afraid of anything, Alex? Yeah, is I'm afraid any... of dying. Yeah, everyone is, I guess, but say, like, do you have any, anything that you're scared of that normally people, are, are you scared of the ocean, sharks? No, not really. I don't like the ocean. I don't like swimming that much, but I don't, I'm not afraid of it. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I don't like talking you... about my feelings. That's something. <laughs> you... Oh, okay, that's something. I'm gonna bet you don't either, though. Oh, I love, talking. I love talking about my feelings. Do you? Yeah, I always That doesn't cry. really scream like Norwegian trait to me. I cry a lot too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You? <laughs> no, I haven't cried When so was the last long. time you cried, Alex? Dude, like, couldn't tell you. Really? I think the ducks have dried. Hmm. You're not claustrophobic or anything? No, I mean, no more so than I should be. You know, like, I don't want to get stuck in something and die, but... How about a karaoke bar? Would you be scared of that? Never would, I would hate that. So you would be scared of that then? Yeah, it's hard to know though, is that being afraid of it or just being like, hard no, because my singing is terrible. I hate mm. public performance. You know, everything about it is like, no. But everyone else would enjoy it. If, if your singing is bad, it's like, that's kind of- Well, that's the thing is, I mean, if I had, if I had to, it's like, of course I can. Oh. We are trotting down the mountain. Everyone's getting a little tired and a little slow. There's Magnus, there's Sam. There's part of the summit behind us. There's some of the descent. Yeah, so this is the end of some of the climbing routes. Like this whole insane looking jumble. 
Yeah. This, is, this is like the last five pitches of a couple of the routes. Is that somebody else yelling? Oh yeah. Where, where are the people over there? There's someone else there. Yeah, there are people with radios and walkies down here somewhere. Oh, they're there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is awesome. Oh, that's cool. Probably can't see them on the GoPro because they're so small. But they're right there. That makes our whole thing seem kind of dumb, you know, we're just walking <laughs> on the edge. Well, you've done it without a rope, I guess. I've sold uh, two different routes that go up that and then one that comes up the wall over here. But if you ever want to solo one of those, we can, but I guarantee you'll get I'll really scared. Be scared? Yeah. They're like pretty full on rock climbing, rock climbing. Yeah. Jeez, look at this. <laughs> that's like the worst quality I've ever seen on a show. Yeah, that's, and they're pretty new too. Really? Yeah. Because uh, if these were made in like 96, I would understand. <laughs> this is like, this is so bad. Some big real shit. Next year you're gonna drink your own urine. <laughs> I wonder how long this is gonna last for. Well, let's let's, let's find out. It over there and find out. I'm still pretty sure that I'm gonna survive. We'll see though, because at this point we're definitely gonna be out in yeah. the dark, and then it starts getting more extreme. We'll just see. Let's, let's start getting down the mountain. So my tape shoe works well so far. Let's see how long it's gonna last. Obviously, pay attention on all this stuff. Yeah. There's some loose rocks here. Yeah. I mean, all of that's like loose. Yeah. If, uh... But how cool is this little walkway? This little thing is built for your GoPro. Yeah, this is very cool. Yeah, isn't this like a neat little, uh... Whoa! Oh, is that sick? Good thing you were doing your box jumping in the gym, huh? <laughs> this is such a cool trail, though. Really cool. Oh, I thought the whole thing went. Look, this thing looks like it's gonna yeah. have to come out. Should we test it? <laughs> I mean, it's like so gigantic, you know? The sun continues to set. We are descending now. We have a long ways to go down to the valley floor. Is this like a normal trail or is this improvised? No, no, this is this, uh, not improvised, but this is like a scrambling route. Right. I see, that's like cool, huh? Scrambling. Yeah, that's cool. I'm like, do we go down that? Oh, we go around. That's what we do. This looks a bit exposed. Yeah. To trust that old tree. Well, I just did. We have no idea. There's a here, uh, Sam. Come across the highway here. This is the uh, this is the way. Can't believe you just trust like old trees like that. That could have easy, easily fallen. Well, I, I would jump off it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. trusting it in like, but ready to pounce off. Right. Now the way down. This is definitely more extreme than the way up. Like these things, if you try to hold them, even stuff like this thing, if that falls on you, then you're screwed. Okay, last drop of water. Okay, now I hope we don't get lost because I don't have any more water. And it's the same with uh, Alex and with Sam. We don't have much more water. But we gotta hurry because uh, it's getting dark and we still have a long way to go. Okay, this is a tricky part, and I'm glad we're doing this in the light. I think we go over there and down and then back. Mm. Sam? Yo, Sam. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, good. Nice. Wow, look at that, I just moved that whole pile of things. Oh wow. Oh God. Jeez, oh, watch out. Woo. That's freaking scary. Yeah, it's big, huh? That's actually exactly where we're about to go over. Oh yeah, so we should, should we, that thing could slide, you know? Should we? No, no, it won't, it won't now. <laughs> that thing though, that is so, we should be quick over here. I'm pretty sure. 
Hope you guys are at least slightly impressed with the root finding because we are nailing it. Yeah, no, I'm very impressed. God, doesn't the card still look so far though? Yeah, it looks so far. Isn't that crazy? Uh, should I, should you, or I go Yeah, first? you go first, you have an adventure. We go straight okay. down this and then straight across. Oh wow, this is pretty epic. <laughs> look how far down on either side. Yeah, isn't this cool? It's pretty exposed, yeah, it's very cool. Oh, that rock looks like it just could slide down too. <laughs> Nothing more separating us in the car except for a 2,000 feet of descent. Okay, here we are on the summit of the White Pinnacle. There's yeah. Vegas behind us. That's very cool. And I look like an idiot again with a GoPro and a headlamp on my uh, head. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all part of the look. <laughs> Sure, we, you know where we are, right? Yeah, here we look. I've got a little oh, cave very torch. Nice. That's cool. Sam. Yeah, and we go down. This would be very difficult to find if you weren't here. Yeah, exactly. Can you I imagine? I would probably continue down here. I know, but then you'd be like, wait, it's a cliff. This is really scary. The crux is to try to make this look dignified. If you're like six foot five and 250 pounds, I don't <laughs> think you get through here. Yeah, I've had to take my backpack off in the past as well, too. Oh, sorry. No worries. Yeah, and then you go under this other block. You're like, that's so cool. Isn't this like kind of insanely steep? Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, that was a long nice hike. Nice work, team. Nice Bam. work. Yeah, nice work. Wow, you're very fit. Oh, I gotta get my shoes off. Yeah, I already, I already took uh, mine off. How does your, how does <laughs> look your, at this. it survived the whole way down is, though. This uh, is proof that we didn't fake this. Look at my shoe. <laughs> tomorrow we're climbing an 8C, huh? In theory, we're gonna climb an 8C tomorrow. Uh, do you have a shower at your house? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you, yeah. <laughs> it's ours. I've, I've heard yeah. that you lived, you lived in your van for a while. But I you, did you for a long time, now. but yeah. yeah, no, it has hot nice. water, running oh water. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, Let's go get some yeah. dinner. And uh, sleep and stuff for tomorrow. Like, that's what, what we really need is a shot of the cameraman just laid out dead on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Like, and that was the end of Young Sam. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Yeah, good work. Feels like a rare moment to get to watch the Magnus Mitha climb real rock <laughs> Outside, outdoors. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. It's been a while. Yeah, that's some that's mag dust. Though I really prefer the mag juice, but you know. Yeah, I, I'm sorry I didn't have that with me. Next time I'll bring some. I thought you were gonna bring it straight from the source. You know? <laughs> <laughs> some fresh juice for you, Alex. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Magnus is off. Pretty slippery, yeah. Yeah, crazy, huh? I can definitely see myself just falling on this. Oh, uh, this is easy for you. Wow, this is really cool. Yeah, isn't it nice? Very nice. Okay. Nice job, gotcha. Nice work. Yeah, that was super cool. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, the chipmunks are so cute. Yeah, it's cool. So, Alex, you're about to try the 8C. You've tried it a few times before. This is called a spike function. Spike function. Which is, uh, the main root here is called spike fiction. Mm. And then Joe just did this weird thing that comes into it and it's called a spike function, I don't know why. Go on. Yeah, easy. Yeah. <sighs> Arctic. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Once you catch that thing, you get this knee bar, mm. and then you switch it to the other knee. The end is probably similar to this stuff. God damn it, take. Oh, and I just crumbled part of this thing. You crum it crumbled? Uh, I just like broke part of the thumb off. Oh. It's, it's fine, it's just slightly smaller. Yeah, nice, come on. Nice, come on. Okay, take. Yep. <sighs> She's Louise. Is that the secret, Alex? I think this is the secret. Because uh, I got a lot of comments in the last video about that. You eating that. Were they eating pepper in the last video? Yeah. You know, it's all about consistency. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna go a little bit slowly and just figure stuff out. So, dude, flash, flash. There's not gonna I've be never a flash. Played an AT flash. I have no goals left, you know, no dreams, no nothing. No aspirations. No aspirations at all. Honestly, I'd appreciate it if you made it look at least slightly challenging. Yeah, match it. Oh, wow. oh, get that? Oh, you match this, right? Yeah, I match that. And I actually use the foot way over right, but the way you did it, you just like curled up, which looked great too. Nice. Easy to knock that jug out, right? Yeah, easy. Got clip. I need bar there, but obviously you don't need it. <laughs> you well, we'll see. Uh... Into the tick mark in there. And now the crux, I guess. So the first thing you go to kind of sucks. I get, I get a thumb on it. Right. And then the thing you're bumping to is quite a good jug. Okay, climbing. Yep. Come on. <coughs> Solid. Yeah, now walk into that right knee bar. Yeah, it should be pretty good. There you go. I Sick. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Nice. That's a cool route. I'm not sure if it's doable today. It's a uh, Magnus boot camp. You just whip yeah. yourself back in a sport climbing shape. Dude, 9B plus, here you come. <laughs> yeah, and they're even 9As at this track, right? So. Yeah, yeah. There's 9A plus over there. And there are a couple like 9B project things down there. Very cool. You could just live here. Wow. You're just so fast. Like when you had this thing in the in the right foot, uh, when you readjusted, you just like kicked the right foot to the next one up. It like wasn't even a move. You were just like, <laughs> as you were moving, you're like to a different one. I was like, Jesus Christ. Just unleash the beast. <sighs> Solid Magnus, come on. Nice, come on. Oh, my foot slipped. Dude, that is so savage though. You just like jump to that with your like. Oh, that's so annoying. All your beta is like so extreme. You're doing all these moves that I'm like, I could never do that. Okay, I'm just gonna aid climb my way through this. Yep. All right. Gotcha. That is the boinking of somebody that has done like a million muscle ups in your life. <laughs> I've also done a lot of boinking in my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah. Ale, come on. There you go. No. Oh God, sorry. I was moving. I'll just do one of my Yeah, turbo bunks. boink. Yeah, get it. Wow, God, that is incredible. How far <laughs> you go? How do you do that? The boink? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like a big pull up, like big kip, like you're going like a meter in a single <laughs> yeah. pull. Just one explosive pull up. Dude. Like this is how we couldn't be more different because I don't even I don't even boink. I only walk the rope. Yeah. Oh, this feels so hard all of a sudden. Nice. Solid. Come on. Come on. That's it. Right foot over. There's a good right foot. Oh wow. Oh no. Okay, you can lower me. You sure? Yeah. I don't think this is gonna go today. Yeah, I feel a bit drained now. Well, yes. Yeah, it's, it's like what we did of, yesterday, a now week this. Of international travel, catching up with you. Yeah, this level is what I enjoy the most. You know, mm. something that I can do in a couple of days, maybe totally. or something. Projecting stuff for like months is I don't really enjoy it that much. Yeah, I hear this that. This stuff is like perfect level. Yeah, you want to. Uh go do some different climbing. I feel like we got our workout and now should we do something more exciting? Or should we go soloing? I don't uh, I don't know if I want to go soloing. Uh. I feel so blasted, but at least the stuff around the corner is easy enough that, uh, that we probably won't fall. We probably won't fall? I'm pretty I... confident that I won't fall. Okay. Are you pretty confident I won't fall too, or? I really don't know, but I, I'm just gonna leave it up to you. You just go, because either way, we're probably gonna have to climb back down, so just go as high as you feel comfortable and then climb back down. Okay. It's like bouldering. Yeah, like bouldering. Hopefully without that kind of effort. <laughs> It'll be like more, more chill. OK, 
Okay, so this is the wall. There are a bunch of slabbier roofs, just kind of nice spaces, clean, beautiful things. Yeah. There are a couple easier ones, and uh, we can just walk along the base and see what, what calls to you. Well, you were suggesting a 6B+. Plus. One of my friends around the corner just said that the 6B+, plus is really nice, and that's mm. interesting to me because I've never done it. But she said it's like really nice, so it's like, cool. Let's just go up and dump our stuff and look yeah, at all of them. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Because really, I mean, that is kind of the thing with soloing, is you just have to choose something that like looks like yeah. something you can do. Because yeah, I feel like there's a big difference for me, like on siding, something without a rope, and red pointing something. I think part of that is the way you climb, though, too, because you just climb so like fast yeah. and punchy. It seems like if you have a plan, but I do change my climbing style a bit though. I don't know yeah, if you yeah, remember last time we climbed without a rope. No, obviously like, when you're soloing, everybody climbs with a lot more yeah. control. Otherwise you die. That looks kind of hard. That looks very hard. These are, these are both sort of 6B, 6B plus-ish things. The mm -hmm. 6A is a little bit further around to the left if you want to look at it. Let's look at it. Yeah, let's look at it. 6B plus sounds like way too much. Yeah, well, what do you think? I mean, you're the expert. Oh, I think, I think you would survive any of them. It depends what kind of experience you want. I yeah, I, I'm worried about you too, though. Uh, I remember last time when you were dealing with the camera and stuff, I was like, oh, I shit. I started to get really scared and, oh, you just thought I would just fall off because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the thing. You, if you were so mellow that you might not focus. No, like this, I would maybe do in tennies then just stand there and film you if you want. I could start camera. with that and see how it feels maybe. Okay, let's do it. Yeah? Uh, ready to rock on? Well, how, uh, how hard is this? I barely looked at it. Yeah, so this is supposed to be 5.8. It's just an easy crack. And, uh, okay. Do you see how I'm doing this, Magnus? Just kind of, yeah. It's like, a, it's like coconut tree climbing. Kind of like big, meaty lie back. There's not much preparation on the ground. It just went. I think the important thing is that if I don't feel comfortable, I'm just going to down climb. I'm just gonna stand here, and then I'll uh, look at you. Be careful. Yeah, it should be chill. Oh, okay, I'm recording too. Uh, quite different climbing style now than I usually. Oh yeah, now you're climbing. Yeah. Does that feel very easy? Not very easy. There are some parts where I have to trust my feet a bit. I think if, if the holes were facing down like this, it would be easier. Yeah, except instead you're lie back. Yeah, but at least like the rock quality feels good. So it's not like I feel like anything's gonna break. Yeah, though speaking of, be careful at the top here, like that thing you're grabbing, I would be careful of. Yeah, okay. Because this is all kind of like blocky at the top. Okay, nice. Easy cheesy. Yeah, easy. So uh, do we have to down climb that? Well, yeah, unless you want to go off a different way. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's oh, Magnus. There's the beautiful forest. You would never guess that this is Las Vegas. Yeah. You can't see Vegas from here, though, right? Uh, no, you can from parts of this mountain, but not from right here. Yeah. And we're on 2,500 meters altitude. Yeah, you feel it, huh? I feel a little bit, yeah. Okay, well, should we get down from here, then? Down climbing, you have a lot of experience down climbing, I guess, right? I sometimes have said that I'm, I might have done more down climbing than anyone else in the world. <laughs> I, th I believe Because <laughs> yeah. not that many people down climb that much. Yeah. And I've done a lot of down climbing. I guess I need to go first, though. So. Yeah, you go first, and then I can, I can uh, practice my filming some more. Yeah. Oh, watch out, I'm uh, trundling some rocks. So just carefully reverse what you did. Yep. Slow and steady. I do get the whole appeal though, uh, like how quickly you move and all totally. that stuff. And it counts, you know, you will have just done two pitches. Yeah. Your pitch count for the day is going to be terrific. It's just if I wasn't so scared. Well, that's the whole thing. Yeah. I would move my feet out of the frame, but I don't want to fall to my death, so. Nice. Oh, it's nice to feel. feel the ground again. Oh. I feel so much pressure to try to make this look like really easy and controlled since everybody's yeah. watching, but. All right, we're safe. Safe. Great success. Nice, great success. So 
That one would be way harder, right? That would be much harder. Yeah. But we can do it if you want. I'd, uh, I'd put my shoes on though. So getting off the ground is kind of hard. Yeah. And then the whole rest of it's just kind of like slick and weird and like pushy. It's a little crack climbing though. I mean, it is a crack. Yeah, I don't know about that. Is there anything else here? Another mm -hmm. route? That I'm is not a bit... sure if there's anything else easy. I think the next easiest things would be those faces that we walked up to. Yeah. I don't want you to do anything uncomfortable either. Though. No, I'm, I, this is fine. I mean, I'd, I'd walk Like, I my... think I would maybe get up to like halfway of this and then I would be scared and return or climb back. If you want to, or we can do that. Do the first half, see how you feel, and then come down. Yeah. I mean, that's a totally valid way to solo, as long as you're very honest with yourself as to how you feel and, you know, yeah. just like keep it chill and then turn around. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a move that I don't think I'll be able to reverse kind of thing. Yeah. Do you think I should go first or you go first? Uh, I don't know. What I'll go think? first because then you come up to wherever you want and I'll just go down with you. And also if I fall, I don't drag you down. That's perfect. <laughs> Okay, let's see if there holds. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, this is already like... Yeah, that doesn't look so easy. Yeah, it's like real climbing. And then this is also like, kind of real climbing. See, there's a lot of this like, stemming double, uh, yeah. like opposing crack features. Just be very conservative about uh, how you feel on this stuff. Mm -hmm. You should not do anything you're not comfortable with, though. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, this is the beginning of, like, real rock on me. Oh, God, this looks crazy. That looks so wild. I'm doing quite a lot of, like, crack stuff up here. Yeah. And I feel like it doesn't exactly have your name on it, but... Actually, maybe I'll stop here and, uh... Because I'll be able to film better. Yeah, watch you, out. That, that looks super sketchy. Oh, no, me. this is Charm Chimney. Okay. There's no hands. I was actually just thinking I might pop my shoes off to keep this more comfortable. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. This is the sketchiest thing I've ever done, maybe. I don't know how far I'm going to get, though. I might just check it out. Remember, really think about what you're doing and make sure you can reverse it. Yeah. <sighs> okay, now it kind of starts. Oh yeah, this stuff is uh, a bit sketchy. Yeah, be gentle, be careful. The holes up there okay or? Um, not like amazing actually. The thing that you reach up to that looks like it's going to be a jug is like not really a jug. Okay. But after that, do I get any like breaks? Mm, it's just all like kind of the same, you know? Okay. You gotta feel like comfortable on your feet if you wanna be able to chill. I'm chucking up even more than usual now. Oh yeah, that's a terrible hold. Sketchy to reverse. Yeah, like oh be God. careful. Yeah, I don't know about that, Alex. Yeah, yeah totally. Start, start bailing to the ground. Because like you basically just set up, you touch the holds, you're like, no. And now you said no, and yeah. you set down. Yeah, no, I think that's too sketchy for me. Yeah, that's that's, that's a smart choice. You should just Because if it doesn't get end. better, if it was like easy after that. Well, also the thing is after it is all cracky. And I'm sort of like, I'm just not sure that crack is better for you. No, I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna make my way down slowly. Yeah. yeah, slowly and carefully. That was pretty hard though, reversing those moves I just did. Well, I know, I saw your one hand, like you just death crimped that little yeah, I did. thing. Old power. Which is good to have that kind of strength in the reserve, but like, you know, you yeah, that's not what you want to do on these things. It. Now you just have to reverse your little V1 boulder. 
you're experiencing the classic thing in soloing when you start looking to the sides being like, is there something easier over there? Should I bail out this way? Should I bail that way? Okay. Nice job, dude. Oh God, that's scary. I can't believe he just walked off that like that. It's crazy. Like committing for something that you don't know. If I knew the route, it would be different, but like you do it on site. Are you gonna go to the top? Or? I'm at least gonna tag the chains because they're right above me. Yeah. And then I'll uh, either keep going and walk down or just climb back down, we'll see. Yeah. But first I gotta put my shoes back on. Part of me was like, should I just go for it, can I? But I don't think that would have been smart. I'm happy that I got like halfway. Okay, I'm just gonna climb down like kind of slowly and carefully. Yeah. Yeah, as it turns out, I actually think the upper stuff was uh, quite a bit harder than the lower stuff. Yeah. I think you're psyched. Yeah, I'm psyched I didn't try that. And actually, the top out and the yeah, walk off were kind of gross and probably would have been doable, but yeah. which is like not that pleasant. Bam, we, we survived. survived, both of us. Yay. Got that. Great well, success. that was sketchy, I felt like. Yeah, it was exciting, huh? Yeah, that was exciting. Well, maybe next time we'll find something a little bit. Next time we should go soloing multi pitches in the Verdun. In France, That's... I did. Uh, I did the six A. I forget what it was called. Uh, La Demande. Yeah. I think it was the first six A in the. Verdun. Oh yeah, I've done that one. It's uh, like chimneys and with stuff. Rope, yeah. I on site sold that, like with a pack on, as like a rest day activity. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe Verdun is the next. Uh, ah well, next La trip. <laughs> or just Fontainebleau, you know, chill. Uh, whatever. Like just whatever. cruising around with our. Dude, pack Fontainebleau. Pads. We should do uh, circuits. I love the circuits. That'd yeah, be so yeah. Fun. That'd be fun. But, oh, yeah. Well, next time. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. For now, home. Let's go get dinner. Yeah. Thank you.